Hello there guys, Feng here, and welcome back to Kata DDA. Okay, this is going to be a very short video um, about how to change your current world settings. Now, this come about because I wanted to put Wonder Spawns back on my uh, current YouTube go to. What do we even put it back? I haven't even put it on yet. But yeah. So I wanted it enabled, and unfortunately you can't do that via in-game. The only thing that these world defaults change is worlds that you make after you've changed. So, that's fantastic, isn't it? So, we need to do it manually. So what we have to do is we have to find our save folder, we need to find our world, and we're looking for a world options text document. Yeah, now obviously you can open this up with whatever text... Um, reader you've got. Obviously we're going to use Notepad. Notepad seems to be the ideal one for this so. Now before we even attempt to change any of these make sure that you make a copy of your save. The main reason for this is uh, things go wrong. Bugs happen. Uh, yeah. Things happen. It even says at the top this file is auto generated from the values picked during world gen and should not be altered in any way once the world is generated. If you want to edit it you do so at your own risk. So you've been warned. Basically, it's actually pretty simple. Yeah, think of it as you would do a change in the world um, during normal world generation. So, for example, uh, if you want to change the city size to uh, the max 16, all you got to do is go to this uh, bottom one here, city size, and change that to 16. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Now, for for these ones that have true or false, you have to make sure that you type the right lowercase or highercase. So default will actually show a highercase T for true for example. Yeah? So if we didn't want um if we didn't want static spawn on, we can then just go and pick false. Yeah. Now please bear in mind that it doesn't work for everything. If you try changing something, I think one that didn't change properly, um I think it was actually the the large cities one actually. So, I actually did do a little bit of a test. The ones that seemed to have worked okay for when I changed was the random NPCs. As soon as I entered a new um, world, uh, a new cell, one that hasn't been explored yet, then there was actually a few random NPCs wandering around. So that was fantastic. It's good to see that that was uh, that was um, working. But some of the others I haven't been able to properly test yet. Uh, the scaling factors work as well. Again, it has to be on a new cell. It can't be on something that you've already explored. It has to be a new cell. Uh, I, d I tried it with a 50 spawn density, and yeah, it worked. Yeah, I can tell you that one worked fine. <laughs> and the item spawn rate at 10, and that one also worked fine. Um, if you like having 20 dozen rocks on a on a on a dirt tile, then that's the one you want. <laughs> Um, but yeah, some I, now the one that I didn't actually uh, I didn't see work properly was unfortunately the emulation of zombie hordes. So just bear that in mind. But what I'm going to do for next episode, and obviously the, the episodes after that, is I'm going to change the zombie hordes to true. I'm also going to stick random NPCs on. I might even up the um, the spawn rate of monsters, then the the, the uh, density. That's what I might do. Anyway, that's it. You can edit it. And as I said, please make sure you back up your save before you do this. Because if anything goes wrong, then it's your own fault. Alright, and guys, that's me done. And I'll see you later.